today in health tech fighting age-related blindness. Recently, actress and comedian Roseanne Barr revealed that she's losing her eyesight. She's 62 years old. She says she has both macular degeneration and glaucoma. And while doctors haven't given her a timeline on when she will lose her vision, she said it is closing in now. Dr. Hamalang Pandeya, did I get it right? Yes, you did. Great. <laughs> From the Dean McGee Eye Institute is joining us to, to talk about this condition. First of all, can you tell us simply what it is? Absolutely. Just, you know, as we get older, we have changes in our bodies, our wrinkles, gray hairs, our, our joints can kind of break down. Right. In the same way, our eye can have changes. And the, the description is really in the name. You have age-related macular degeneration. So as we get older, 50, 65, older, uh, we start to have these non-specific changes in the back part of our eye, okay. specifically what we call the macula. The macula is what's involved in your central vision. So okay. the retina is like the film of the eye, the part of the eye that allows you to see things centrally and peripherally, but the macula specifically focuses on the central part of your vision. And with age and with certain other risk factors that we can talk about, you can have changes to the macula, and that's how you get a degeneration of it. So does it, does it appear, if you're looking through your eyes, that it's just that your sight is growing more slim until it's just in the middle? Is that the way it is? In actual fact, it's actually that the central vision is blurry. Oh, that's what so you So most lose. of the okay. symptoms are central. In fact, the peripheral vision uh, remains intact, and that's the difference between macular degeneration and glaucoma. Okay. Glaucoma will affect your peripheral vision, whereas macular degeneration affects your central vision. You know, some folks say my mom or dad had it. Does that make me more likely to get it? Absolutely, and there's certain risk factors that increase our risk of developing macular degeneration. Uh, tobacco use, uh -huh. smoking, that's number one. Uh, if mom and dad or grandma and grandpa had it, uh, you know, after the, the age of 50, it's probably prudent to have your eyes checked, uh, have a full dilated exa eye exam, and uh, assess for any changes. And sometimes prevention uh, can cause you to uh, change your lifestyle. Um, certain other things like improving blood pressure, cholesterol, having an active and uh, you know active lifestyle with exercise. These all the all these things help prevent development as well as progression. In listening to Roseanne Barr, it sounded kind of dire as though she had no choice but she was going to lose her eyesight. Is there treatment? Absolutely. And you know, to, without examining someone and getting some information from them, it's very difficult to, uh, to, to suggest treatment options. But there is treatment. Now, macular degeneration can broadly be broken down into a dry type and a wet type. Okay. What does that mean? Well, 90% of people with macular degeneration have the dry type. That means that there aren't any bad blood vessels growing. Basically, there's some breakage down of the retina, of the mm -hmm. macula centrally, and we have some changes such as blurred vision or distortion in our vision. Sometimes there are no symptoms. Uh -huh. Wet macular degeneration is seen, as t is seen in 10% of people with macular degeneration. And it's called wet because there's seen these bad blood vessels that form. They're abnormal blood vessels that break through the retina. And when they bleed or they leak out fluid, it's almost like a, a, fl a flood in your kitchen. How are we going to fix it? Oh. So rather than fixing the pipes, we go ahead and suggest certain treatments that help those bad blood vessels shut off. And uh, there's different types, but the mainstay of treatment these days is an injection of medicine in the eye. And I know that sounds quite profound, but it's actually a very effective treatment in terms of not improving vision necessarily, but keeping it at bay and preventing that flood from expanding. How often do people need to have an eye exam just to, to make sure they, don't, they can catch this early and do something about Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's a very good question. Um, you know, for certain situations like patients who are high, you know, highly uh, uncontrolled, hypertensive patients, uh, patients who are diabetics, uh -huh. absolutely once a year. Patients who have a family history of uh, macular degeneration, I think after the age of 50 should have at least one full dilated eye exam once a year. Uh, and obviously anyone in between who has no diagnosis but symptoms of blurred vision or any kind of issues with their vision should definitely have a full comprehensive dilated eye exam at least once. Well, Dean McGee has led the way in so many w regards with eye research and eye surgeries. We appreciate you coming and sharing your, your talent. Thank, no, you, thank you for much. having us. Thank you. For more information on treatments for macular degenerations, we have a link at kfor.com slash links. You know, we had a full day of Rain Monday and Mike tell